I think we can put our differences behind us. For science, you monster. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 craziest video game characters. Oh, oh, so what, it's just <laughs> me getting hurt? Is that funny? No. Huh? For this list, we're looking at characters who are certifiably insane, whether they're heroes, villains, or just unforgettable NPCs. Let us know in the comments who you think is the most unhinged. All right, let's do this. Number 10, No Bark Noonan, Fallout New Vegas. I can see it in your eyes. I knew I wasn't the only one. You'll generally find No Bark wandering around behind the motel in Novak, and it's always a treat to seek him out and see what insight he can offer the courier on their journey. No Bark is a conspiracy theorist who falls for absolutely any nonsense he can come up with, offering up his theories on what's going on in the Mojave. This ranges from a sighting of an invisible chupacabra with a chain gun to a derelict science facility filled with the ghosts of spacefaring communists. Funnily enough, his ideas have always had a kernel of truth buried within, so it's worth a listen. Ghosts. Kami ghosts, but don't know they're dead. Hope to steal our rockets so they can fly up and paint the moon pink and draw a Lenin face on it. Number 9. Seth Breyers. Red Dead Redemption. Good job getting rid of them clowns. Now keep an eye out in case they come back. Of all the colorful characters John Marston encounters in his travels, Seth is certainly the most memorable, and this is a rock star game, so that's saying a lot. John needs Seth's help to get into Fort Mercer and finally put a bullet in Bill Williamson, but Seth refuses until John helps him find the treasure he spent most of his life searching for. Seth's pursuit of treasure has led him to grave robbing, and he's so crazy that he even talks to the people whose graves he's desecrating. Not to mention, he's never taken a bath in his life. When the zombie apocalypse of Undead Nightmare happened, Seth could be found dancing with a group of corpses. Fun. It's your deal. Diamonds are trumps. Number 8. Sheogorath, The Elder Scrolls IV Oblivion. I could turn you into a goat, or a puddle, or a bad idea. I could make you eat your own fingers or fall in love with a cloud. As an embodiment of madness, it wouldn't make sense if Sheogorath wasn't a complete lunatic. And Bethesda clearly thought Sheogorath was cool, so they made an entire DLC where you explore his realm of madness and do bizarre quests for him. One main game quest involves wreaking havoc in a small town just for kicks with objectives including stealing some valuable cheese and watching dogs rain from the sky. As a reward, Sheogorath, who happens to love cheese, gives you one of the game's weirdest weapons, a stick that can turn any creature into some other random creature for chaotic effects. The Isles, the Isles, a wonderful place. I except when it's horrible, then it's horribly wonderful. Good for a visit, or eternity. Number 7. Alice Little, American McGee's Alice series. Now, before our next session, collect those pills from our high street chemist. Very well, Doctor. There are plenty of dark takes on Alice in Wonderland, but American McGee's vision stands a cut above the rest. In both games, Wonderland is a figment of Alice's imagination something she's constructed to retreat into because she couldn't cope with the severe trauma of losing her family. In Alice, Madness Returns, Alice struggles so much that she's committed to an asylum yet again, while the wonderland of her childhood becomes a true nightmare to reflect her circumstances. It's also refreshing to see a protagonist struggle with mental health rather than another villain. Number 6. Sander Cohen, Bioshock. It is accomplished. Most of Bioshock is spent running errands for Atlas and getting repeatedly waylaid on your way to confront Andrew Ryan. But there's one diversion that stands out as the best part of the entire game Fort Frolic. 
The radio that's so far been your constant companion is intercepted, and you're trapped in Rapture's Entertainment District with artist-in-chief Sander Cohen in your ear. Cohen wants you to help him with his quad tick, which involves hunting down each of his former protégés so he can seal them in plaster and put them on display in the foyer. Once you do all that, Cohen lets you go without a hitch, which could be the craziest thing about him. If you had become my one and true disciple, you might have been worthy of seeing inside the box of my most private news. Number five, Adam the Clown, Dead Rising. Everyone used to laugh at me. <laughs> I was a walking punchline. <laughs> The entire Dead Rising series has always been a host of interesting boss fights aside from the myriad of zombies called psychopaths in-game. These are people who have lost their minds in the chaos of the zombie apocalypse, but one in particular is the craziest of all, Adam the Clown, who has had someone trapped for hours on a roller coaster he has the only key to. And oh yeah, he also dual wields chainsaws and backflips all over the place. The real horror only comes after you defeat him. However, in one of the most gruesome scenes in the entire franchise, when he collapses onto his own chainsaws and keeps laughing until the very end. <laughs> Number 4. Psycho Mantis, Metal Gear Solid You... You doubt my power? Anybody who dresses like that certainly has lost their mind, though there's an in-universe explanation for Psycho Mantis's sinister gas mask, such as hiding his scars and that it blocks out other people's thoughts. It remains an uncomfortable sight. He's clearly a lunatic from the beginning, forcing Meryl to repeatedly flirt with Snake while also trying to kill him. Not to mention the fact Psycho Mantis killed his own father and burned down his entire village as a child. But he might drive you mad, too, thanks to his knack for reading your controller inputs and taunting you about the contents of your PS1 memory card. I'm fine. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. Number 3. Trevor Phillips, Grand Theft Auto V. I'm so sorry, I one of GTA V's three main characters, Trevor is probably the biggest loose cannon of the entire franchise. There's no way to know what the next thing to make him fly off the handle will be or what he'll do when this happens, but his chaotic bloodlust provides some of the absolute best moments in the game, from that incredibly controversial torture scene to his uncomfortable relationship with his mother to his desperation to bust Brad out of jail and pull off the biggest heist in history. Trevor is a wild card, and he's both Michael's greatest asset and a very real threat to his life. Yeah, we, what, are you going to stand here and argue while your daughter becomes a national laughing stock? Huh? Number two, Voss, Far Cry 3. You want me to slice you up like I did your friend? Shut the f*** up! We all know the definition of insanity by now, and that's all thanks to Voss, after all. He does spend the entirety of Far Cry 3 trying to kill Jason Brody over and over again, expecting that this time he'll actually die. Actor Michael Mando's audition for Ubisoft impressed developers so much, the original secondary antagonist was scrapped and Voss was created entirely from Mando, who's even done live-action performances as Voss over the years. He's a formidable and violent foe who, more than anything else, steals the show every time he's on screen. There's never a dull moment with Voss around, crazy as he is. Voss, who the f is it going to be? Them or me? Me or them? Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few other honorable mentions. GLaDOS, Portal series. She's definitely crazy about testing forever. I will say, though, that since you went to all the trouble of waking me up, you must really, really love to test. Albert Wesker. Resident Evil franchise. You've got to be a lunatic to wear sunglasses 24-7. You've really become quite an inconvenience for me. Mikolash, host of the nightmare, Bloodborne. Anyone who voluntarily wears the Mensa's cage is lost beyond all hope. No one can catch us. No one can stop us. 
just now. <laughs> Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure to go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Kefka Palazzo, Final Fantasy VI. Though his mind is ruined by the violent experiments of the Empire, Kefka certainly doesn't invite any sympathy. A sinister figure throughout Final Fantasy VI, only near the end does Kefka reveal himself as the true villain, seizing control of the world's ancient magic to transform himself into a godlike dictator driven only by his urge to control and destroy. With no regard for life and completely drunk on his own power, Kefka becomes an incomprehensible nightmare and one of the greatest villains in final boss fights of all time. It's his insane desire for annihilation, for annihilation's sake, that makes him so frightening and memorable. In the mood for more awesome gaming content? Be sure to check out this video here on Mojo Plays. And don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.